I posted a video the other day about how to best go about washing and drying a comforter in this 4.5 cubic foot washer dryer combo. And when I was filming that, I was having some memory problems with which particular queen size bedding piece was giving me the problems with the dryer. I thought it was the comforter that was giving me problems and I thought it was this one as well, but it really was just this blanket that's giving me the problems. This blanket is a queen sized blanket and it's big and bulky and it soaks up a lot of water and it is hard to spin in this machine because it all wants to lump to one side and make the machine go off balance. So after doing that video, I realized that I was remembering wrong that it was this one was giving me the problems. And this is the one that I've tried without a proper spin, trying to dry and it's you know two, three, four hours, five hours, and it still won't dry and it won't dry. So after doing some experiments on the comforter and doing a high spin after the wash and seeing the speed of the dry cycle drop from an hour and 30 minutes to an hour and six, five or six to seven minutes, whatever it was, I thought I need to do some more experiments with this comforter. So the main issue is that the comforter doesn't want to spin out any higher than a low spin because it is really big and bulky and it, it soaks up a lot of water and it clings to one side and, and stays off balance. So my first thought was, what can I do to offset that? So I ran this with these other two items in the wash, a twin size blanket, a lightweight blanket, not, not a heavy duty one, and just an extra towel, one, one bath towel, a medium sized bath towel, not a really giant one. And I ran all three of those pieces in the wash in the bedding cycle. I did that. I only did the hour bedding cycle. I didn't do steam. I just, ah, oh, hello kitty. I just did the one hour bedding cycle. I didn't do steam. So it was just the one hour bedding cycle. And I did it on low spin because I knew it was going to be a big bulky load. I did low spin. You can't dry right away. You have to let that wash cycle finish and then you have to choose the appropriate dry. So I thought, let's see what happens with these and if I can put it on a high spin with the proper ratio of this one big bulky item and a couple of other items in there to offset that uh, balance load, will it do a high spin? And surprisingly, it did a high spin. So that's one of those tricks you can do when you are having trouble with spinning. I've done this in some other instances where I've had a couple pair of jeans or a couple of towels, and because it's only two towels or two jeans and maybe some other things, it's having a hard time being balanced. So I'll take a clean pair of jeans in there or a clean towel and throw it in there, and that will suddenly allow it to balance on the spin and go through the dry cycle properly. I've also done it with t-shirts where it was a really small load and it was only like two or three t-shirts and it just was all lumping up to the one side and staying off balance. Again, I found a clean t-shirt and threw that in there. And I think also the clean and dry other item in there will help absorb some of the moisture that's in these other garments and will help speed up the dry cycle because it's now distributing among more pieces of fabric and more surface area. So you can do that also as a way to try to get a difficult to dry item to dry faster and throw in a completely dry item and see if that can help distribute the moisture load more evenly throughout the machine. This particular blanket is not going to have a lot of problems with moisture retention. It's a very lightweight blanket. These dry so fast in this machine. Towels, on the other hand, towels and jeans, they absorb a lot more moisture and they take longer to dry. And even if you do a high spin or an extra high spin, they are still going to be taking longer to dry. And that's the problem with this guy. This guy just is so big and bulky and it just holds so much moisture that I've given up on trying to dry it in this machine because it takes so long and never really gets there. So I wash it and I hang it to line dry. But I thought I'd give this a shot. And you know, it kind of worked to do this with this lightweight blanket and with this extra towel. Obviously I was able to spin them out at a high spin and get more of that moisture out. And then compared to my comforter, which was after the high spin an hour dry cycle, 
these three pieces of fabric and their weight were two hours and 45 minutes on the dry cycle. And what happened after that two hours and 45 minutes is predictable. This blanket is really, really moisture absorbent. It retains that moisture. It doesn't want to let go. And on top of that, it's big and bulky and it can't tumble in this smaller tub the way it can in a larger standalone dryer. And as a result, it just can't get turned over and around on itself to fully dry easily. So what I did was I pulled them all the things out after the two hours and 45 minute dry cycle. And this was dry. This was 100% dry. This was still moist and this towel was still moist. And I pulled them out, it was night, so I pulled them out and I, I left these two on here. I sort of shook them out and aired them out and tried to distribute it a little bit. And this one's uh, still got some damp spots. I can feel it now. And this one was still damp, so I just sort of left them out overnight. And then this morning, I went ahead and put this in for another half hour. And it got more dry, but it's still not 100% dry. So I think I have to put it in for yet another half hour with no spin and see if I can get it even just a little bit more dry. It might take that sort of stages in order to get something of this nature dry in this machine where it's just a little too big and a little too moisture absorbent. So two hours and 45 minutes for all three of these, then letting the machine cool down and letting the humidity evaporate with the door open, letting this sit out for maybe a half hour and letting this sit out for a half hour and then running this for another half hour, letting it sit out some more if it's still damp, running this for another half hour and maybe I'm gonna do one more half hour of this and kind of see what happens and hope for the best. It's probably the only way you're going to get these large, bulky, moisture absorbent items dry is to do them in stages and give them a chance to breathe. And it's because of the limitations of the size of the machine. It's just never going to be able to dry some of these heavier, moisture absorbent, king sized and queen sized bedding pieces. So let's give this a whirl and see if I can get a little bit more dry. always turning it a little bit inside out, trying to get this parts that are staying in the middle. It's just not going to, whatever's lumped in the middle there is going to always remain in the middle because it's more than half the size of the container of the tub. I'm gonna do time for 30 minutes with no spin. And I did that this morning and it was mostly dry. I'm gonna do it again, see if I can get it even more dry. So if you saw the other video, my confusion was that I was mixing up this blanket, this really dense blanket with my comforter. And it was this piece of fabric that I have tried drying and just takes forever. And again, remember, you can't force this machine to be better than it is. You can't be stubborn. You can't just, it's not dry. I'm gonna put in another 30 minutes right away. It's not dry. I'm gonna put in another 30 minutes you're just going to be beating your head against the wall. You have to let some of that humidity escape. You have to let that, some of that humidity evaporate off of the clothes and you have to give it time to cool down, especially when you're beyond the capacity of the machine. Brute force is just not gonna get it done. You're not gonna win or be happy if you come at this machine with brute force. You've gotta to learn to adapt and figure out how this machine works best and how you can make it succeed with difficult garments. There we go, that's our extra 30 minutes. Let's check it out. Our second extra 30 minutes. And it, it feels, it feels heavy and damp. Again, that could just be humidity. And there may be a limit to what this will feel dry like in this machine. Uh, and that may be the best that we can get. I'm gonna leave this out and let it air out and, you know, aerate a bit. 
Um, and then what I can do is if I want to let one pin thing aerate and see if it needs another 30 minutes, I'm going to throw this in and do 30 minutes with that. And we can leapfrog the whole dry cycle process to get these difficult to dry things to dry. But I think that's as dry as this is going to get with this machine. It's just got such big bulkiness and it's got so much moisture absorbency that uh, it's hard to extract all the moisture from it and all the humidity from it. It feels dry, but it also feels a little heavier than normal. And uh, I think it's going to be just fine.